Google Slides is extremely helpful in creating great presentations. You can easily present information and add in photos, charts, and other things. One way to keep your presentation interesting and engaging is by adding simple transitions and animations. One of those is making texts appear one by one. It may sound complicated, but it's quite easy to do. Here's how. Open Google Slides and type in your texts. Make sure that you group your texts depending on when you want them to appear. You want them to be in separate boxes so that we can select them individually. Let's start by adding the transition effect on three text boxes. Click on one text box. Click on the upper right part of the menu. Click the three dots, then select Animate. A window titled Motion will appear on the right-hand part of your screen. Under Object Animations, you will see the first word or first few letters of the text on your selected box. Under that, you will see two drop-down options. The first is the effect choices, and the second is how you want that effect to be triggered. Click the first box and choose which effect you want for your selected text. Next, click the second box to select when you want that to happen. Usually, it's better to choose on click, so you can control when exactly the text box will appear. Repeat this process by clicking on the other text box, then select Add Animation on the Motion window. If you're having a hard time selecting the text box you want because they're stacked on top of each other, you can use the Arrange tool to move the text box that you're done adding the animation to backwards. Don't worry about the order of the text appearance because we can easily fix that on the Motion window. Remember, you can see the first few letters or first word of the text under Object Animations, so you will know which is which. Once you're done adding animation to all text boxes, you can check their arrangement through the Motion window. If you want to change the order they appear, then just click and drag them to your desired position using the six dots on the right. To test, you can click Play at the bottom of the Motion window. The text boxes will appear one by one with the effects and triggers you chose. Now you can easily use this effect on your future presentations. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification icon to watch other guides about all sorts of technology. Also, check out these other cool videos we think you'll enjoy.